Yeah, I hope my screen is visible to everybody. Yeah, yes, we can start. Yeah, so it is started. Yes, sir. So, hello, viewers. Uh, back to the transit. Um, uh, mega webinar on the transit planet. So today we are going to see about the transit cycle as a key to transformation. See, many times we use uh, transit directly. We don't see the background running of the transit. So that's what uh, I try to visualize you and to make you understand this. So yes, next slide. First, uh, as a, a rule, I'll go with the transit result. We have seen three, four times this, but uh, still I may continue that uh, transit to be seen from moon, ascendant, and planet. All three aspects has been discussed uh, in many of our time. So moon will give you the mental effect, ascendant will give you a physical form effect, and planet will give you the actual result. Then you have to compare with Dasha. The present Dasha with the transit is very much effective. Now, major three planets has to be seen in the transit, like a Jupiter is for the growth. Saturn is for the deed or some action. I mean, Saturn, wherever it is transiting, it's, you, it's involving you to make something, act something. Then you have a Rahu transit is for receiving from past. You have to uh, undergo something, some situation from past. And Ketu transit is to giving back from the past. So, Rahu transit from whichever house from moon ascendant planet that you are being receiving from that house and wherever the Ketu transiting because last Saturday my lecture was on Ketu transit only where I say that how you have to give back. So this is a major thing that you have to focus. Uh, please next slide. So transit result to be seen in this context. So in next uh, slide we will see the furthermore. Please. Next slide. Next. Ha. Now what uh, today's topic is a transit cycle. Now see, uh, cycle means uh, one rotation, one round. And when we see that uh, it is a, a transit cycle, we mean to see that uh, how one cycle ended. Like Jupiter, 12 years. So one house or one sign in one year. Saturn, 30 years, right? So it is a 2.5 years, uh, uh, 2.5 years per sign. Rahu is 18 years for completing entire one cycle. So that is 1.5 years per sign. Now other fast moving planet complete the cycle within a year. So it is not so relevant. Like we know sun passing every month to one sign. So in year it passed 12. Mercury, Venus. These three are at together. Now, this uh, uh, moon is uh, within a month, it transit 12 sign. So that is also very small. And But still, uh, moon transit uh, importance I have already given you. And then Mars is somewhat uh, beyond the one year, but it is one and a half year, it complete. So other fast moving planet complete their cycle within one year. Now, what cycle is what I mean to say now we'll see in the next slide. So, it's a Jupiter cycle. Now, we are focusing on the Jupiter cycle. Now, when he's passing his first cycle of a Jupiter, so Jupiter. house. So it is one, every one year, one house it's passing. So on 12 years, it will be reached to the its natal Jupiter position where your birth Jupiter is there. From 13 to 24, it is called second cycle. 25 to 36 age, when person is a uh, age of 25 to um, uh, 36, he will be in the third cycle. 37 to 48 age, when person is there, he is in the Fourth cycle. Why this cycle is important that you will understand later on. 
Then on the age of 49 to 60, there will be a fifth cycle. 61 to 72 age of a person, the sixth cycle of uh, Jupiter and 73 to 84 is the seventh cycle of a Jupiter. Now here, why cycle is important when person know that uh, he is in the, this age. I have given the example also in the last slide. So when he know that he is in this uh, age, so he is in the cycle of Jupiter which Saturn which Rahu which right. So accordingly it goes. Now Jupiter cycle we have seen first cycle, second, third, fourth. This you have to remember. We'll uh, come back also again this slide. So we'll see now the second that is a Saturn cycle. Please uh, make the move in the next day. Now Saturn cycle you know it's a 30 years. So when person is of a uh, 0 to 30 age he is in the first cycle of uh, Saturn. Then when it is uh, he is 31 to 60 he is a second cycle and when he turns 61 to 90 he is under the third cycle of Saturn. So this is a cycle of a Saturn every 30 years it return back to its original position. Right. So that is a situation it is indicating for the Saturn. Now we are going to see about the Rahu and then we combine everything. Just uh, make the uh, Rahu cycle, next Saturn and Rahu. Rahu, you know, it is a Rahu return is a 18 age. So first 18 years, it will be a first cycle. As we have seen, every one and a half year, one cycle, uh, one house is getting. So when the person is 19 to 36 age, he will be in the second cycle of a Rahu. When he will be 37 to 54, he is in third cycle of uh, Rahu. When he is a 55 age to 72 age, he is a fourth cycle of uh, Rahu. And 73 to 90, suppose we expect the 90 age as a maximum. So he is a fifth cycle of Rahu. Now you might have noted all the cycle Rahu, uh, Jupiter, Saturn and Rahu. Jupiter, first 12 years, then second uh, 24 years up to then 36 years, then uh, uh, 48 years, 60 years, 72 years. You can extend to 84 also if you can. And Saturn, we have seen straight away 0 to 31st cycle, 31 to 62nd cycle, and 30, uh, 61 to 90 is another cycle. So that is a situation it is seen in the uh, uh, Saturn. And Rahu, just now we have seen. 0 to 18, it is a first cycle, 18 to 36, second cycle, 37 to 54 is a third cycle, 55 to 74 cycle, and 73 to 90 is a fifth cycle. Now, this is a situation, right? We all know. Now, what is the significance of this cycle? We should understand the significance of this cycle is a cycle of even and odd. When person is undergoing the odd cycle, he is facing the challenges. When he is passing the even cycle, he is under the even cycle age, he will be having receiving the benefit or it's a positive sign. So as like a sequence in the Dasha also, we see all the even and odd Dasha. In my uh, Dasha Chakra, I have mentioned so many times, Tara Chakra, it is uh, based about the Tara Chakra. Same here also, all the odd cycle is always challenging and even cycle is always positive. So this keeping in the mind, you have to understand. Go back to the Jupiter now again. So you will come to know what will be the ha. Now this, this is a... When we consider 0 to 12, it is a first cycle of Jupiter being an odd cycle. It is causing the slow growth during this period. You, we all know up to 12 years, the physical person comes under the second cycle of Jupiter that is 13 to 24 is a time where you find the Jupiter better time. And that is a real growth time. See, his IQ will level. Education also, he will be finding good education also during that period. And he will be ready for the society. Excuse me, sir, your voice is breaking. 
yeah it's a network issue i see that uh, one or two bar it's uh, reducing uh, Yeah, sorry. Now I think. Uh, now, hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now it's better. Yes, sir. Sir, I think now you can uh, switch off your camera so that uh, it will not start. I think the bandwidth issue is there. Yeah, network issues. And now it. Yeah, now. Now it's stable. Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now see the first cycle of Jupiter end by 12 years. So till that time, the growth is very slow. But between 12 to uh, 13 to 24, growth is faster. Now when he come to the third cycle, 25 to 36, is a time whereby he will be facing the challenges again. Now he has to financially stable, family-wise also stable, third cycle. Now after 36, he will be settled in his job. He is settled in his family life, social life. So 37 to 48 is a fourth cycle whereby he start earning, start accumulating, start saving the money. So that is fourth cycle, somewhat a positive. Again, by 48 to 60 is a time for him to wind up the things. Now he has a lot of expenditure about him, about his children, children education, right? Likewise, so that is the fifth cycle. Again, there is a, some of the challenges he find as related to the Jupiter. When sixth cycle comes, he retire. He get a good money. If uh, he's doing his business, he is uh, being sitting in the side, and their uh, successors are running the business. So that is sixty one to seventy two. Again, he find good religious spiritual things. Then when we see the 73 to 84, again, it's a seventh cycle where he find a lot of issue again related to the family, his health, financial somewhat a crisis also been seen as a major of a money is being uh, going for the medicine or social issue, family or social issue. So this is a Jupiter cycle. Now we'll consider the Saturn cycle. So Saturn cycle is like... Uh, 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 we know as a, a 0 to 30, it's a very hard time for the person to make the efforts. As I mentioned, the Saturn is for deeds and action. So people have to invest so much thing till the age of Saturn another houses. When it's passing one after another houses, every house is developing some cycle. I don't know what's happening. It's a first cycle we see, and that is somewhat uh, challenging. When his work is being settled by 36 to 60 in the So that 36 to 40, again, uh, you got a voice? Yes, sir. it's uh, sometimes it's breaking, but yeah, fine. But, but uh, 36 to 40, uh, 31 to 60, where he get uh, somewhat a good fruit of the effort which he has put for his life. So that is second cycle of a Saturn. And third cycle is between 61 to 90. Again, Saturn start aging, old age problem. Saturn related like uh, work efficiency reduce. Like fear increase eight house, uh, enemy disease is also causing uh, six house and twelve house facing a lot of uh, uh, physical challenges, uh, disease, uh, hospitalization. This so that is a third cycle of uh, Saturn. 
now considering rahu next slide that uh, rahu is a uh, 1 to 0 to 18 so till 18 it's a first cycle it's a person don't know which direction he is going so confusion stage is till 18 18 he major so 18 to 36 he has a courage he has do uh, certain to uh, do the things so that is a uh, in between, in 19 to 36, he has a positive part of a Rahu where he will start doing the good things. Uh, no fear, fearless efforts. Now, 37. Rahu cycle. It's again the Rahu cycle where third cycle is there. So that is a situation where uh, 37 to 54, third cycle, if it's again unseen and uh, fear kind of uh, things. Then 55 to 72, again, he gets settled because he's near to the retirement. Now he has a new venture, new things, new traveling. I think it's uh, somewhat uh, calm. Three. Again, by 73 to 90. So, this 73 to 90, again, he's causing a lot of difficulties. So, likewise, you have to see when person is standing on which age, he's in which cycle of this three planet. And accordingly, he can make the things possible that... Uh, Jupiter is positive, Saturn is negative, Rahu is positive. Who is positive, who is negative, that you have to locate. And accordingly, you can decide upon it. So that is a core part of uh, things. Uh, okay, I will try to close my camera. Yeah, so what happened that uh, during this uh, tenure of a period, during Jupiter cycle, Saturn cycle and Rahu cycle, you will receive this. Growth and this development is uh, either a right or either you will be facing the mean to say that either positive or either a growth period that So this way you have to see these things and uh, you have to see how the things are working. Given the one kind of uh, uh, example also and uh, uh, with the example also you may understand that uh, how to see this. Right? So this way you have to see that how it is uh, things are extending, how the things are working. Right? So uh, see the example chart which uh, uh, we'll see. Now see, I have given one example also. Like uh, one person is age of 45. Suppose uh, one person is standing in the age of 45. Now he is in the Jupiter fourth cycle. 36 to 37 to 48 is uh, his fourth cycle of Jupiter. So he is in the good book of a Jupiter. What we can say is that he is in the good form of a uh, Jupiter book. Then Saturn, he is under the uh, age of uh, 31 to 60, so he is also enjoying somewhat a better result of a Saturn. That whatever the result, whatever the effort he is putting, he is getting result. So Saturn wise also somewhat it is better. See, as in the earlier itself, I said that transit has to be seen with the collaboration of the Dasha. When you see the Dasha, and compare with the transit, then only you will get a full-fledged result, right? And Rahu, he will be under the third cycle of Rahu. So, somewhat a fear, 
some water receiving from the past that period is running but two major cycle of a jupiter and a saturn is positive so fourth cycle uh, of a jupiter and second cycle of saturn is giving him somewhat a better result so you may see, see that uh, age of 31 right to 48 either you can say that uh, 37 age to say 48 is a uh, Jupiter's fourth cycle, so he'll be benefit out of it, and Saturn also, whatever he performed the deed, at least he's receiving that things. So that is somewhat a benefit he may be receiving. And Rahu wise, as it is a third cycle, as uh, 37 to 54, so it is a somewhat a challenging period for him. If you remember my last uh, uh, transit uh, Ketu video, I said that uh, age of uh, 36 is a big transformation because the Saturn uh, uh, Jupiter cycle return 36 uh, age Rahu cycle and at 36 Rahu return is there Jupiter return is there and that is a majority uh, maturity period of uh, Saturn so all three planets are in favor of the person so he may be turn around he may be get some positive result related to this three planet also, one example I also given that uh, uh, if person is at the age of 28, suppose we consider 28, so he is in the third cycle of Jupiter, having some uh, problem in the social life, family life or financial related problem. Again, he is in the um, uh, tough cycle of a Saturn as he is not completed yet the first cycle of Saturn. So Saturn also causing him a lot of challenges and difficulty, making him to put a lot of efforts. And in Rahu, it is being second cycle, it is somewhat benefit. So he is not under fear. He is not uh, receiving anything from past. He is not in the bad shape. But yes, Jupiter-wise means financial-wise, social-wise, family, marriage life-wise, he is somewhat struggling. And Saturn also is not making him stable in the career. And you will find that after 30, only a career of a person gets settled. And financial resources, financial benefit person receives. So my say is only, see, it was a very small uh, uh, lecture. I, but this is a new concept. I re apply this since uh, 2011. I'm applying this. So almost 12, 13 years I've seen in various of a chart. Now, what is the benefit of this is that uh, whoever is not having his birth chart or only knowing his age, if he know that I'm age of 28, I'm age of 45, he can look at this. If somebody also comes with you and having the doubt about his age or birth time, birth place, so this is also one way you can see how much approximate age you are uh, expecting. So he said, I'm 45. So you can see that he's under the fourth cycle of Jupiter his uh, second cycle of Saturn and his third cycle of uh, Rahu. So what kind of, see, now question may be from either Jupiter, either Saturn or either Rahu only. Either he has a question of growth, Jupiter, either he has a question of uh, deeds, action, job, all these things. And third is either he is under the apprehension, fear, right? So these three can be located by this only. And if you say that I'm age of 28, so you know that he's struggling financially, socially, is struggling the um, uh, Saturn wise, uh, career wise, and he is having somewhat uh, not fear. At least he has uh, some confidence that Rao is not making him apprehension and fear. So he may be cope up with Jupiter and Saturn. So you may apply this and uh, use this technique, use this transit cycle. What I call is a transit cycle for uh, transformation. Why transformation? I say it is such a way where you can design your 12 years, design your 30 years, design your 18 years of a cycle. Now, transit doesn't have an antarda side. It is only housewise it goes. So, you have to see that uh, during the age of 45, which house he might be having Jupiter, which house his Saturn might be there, and which house the Rahu is there. That you will be able to look at with the sign, local sign of the uh, uh, present sign of a planet and you can locate which house it is been affecting. So related to that social and growth period, related to that career related problem like Jupiter passing from 6th house, so he's under the debt and facing the repayment of loan or having some quarrels or dispute with the person or in job. 
thereafter you will find that uh, saturn in the second cycle so he is uh, putting his efforts making the new venture doing work and he is in third cycle of rahu so like to be located or relocated so that is a beauty of uh, uh, this transit cycle and Uh, what uh, the core part of my lecture is there i know there is a lot of interruption has come because uh, i don't know there's a lot of fluctuation of a uh, uh, network but uh, i hope that what the message i have to convey i have already conveyed that you have to see the three cycle uh, every cycle jupiter cycle you can add on any cycle but what happened that uh, other planet cycle is not affecting the age because it is within a year then what you see but this is a major thing that uh, it is affecting the uh, year as a jupiter uh, one and a half year as a rahu and two and a half year as a saturn so when you are under this cycle when uh, you are under the influence of the planet at your age when your particular age you are under the influence of jupiter positive saturn positive rahu positive or some positive or some negative only thing you have to remind is the odd cycle is challenging i don't say negative but it's challenging and even cycle is always positive growing and giving you some opportunity so this way when you see the odd and even cycle and locate somebody's planet over jupiter saturn and rahu you will come to know that what the situation is there and how it will be working so uh, i conclude because that's my last slide of this and uh, i uh, conclude here if anybody having some doubt or question they may ask either not been understood or either any, anybody have any questions you can ask see the research scope is like this only when you use the system and uh, you derive with the, some new ideas new way of uh, seeing that technique so that i always having the innovative thing when i apply the tara chakra in dasha it gives a fantastic result likewise you can use this uh, cycle and phase of a life i seen that uh, results are there see i don't say anything technically but it is very simple very effective you have to start with the technique all the new beginner all the who who's already very scholar senior they also should at least start with the some technique which is working when you start seeing certain things are working it will give you the uh, confidence that yes every technique can work and when you start seeing this you will realize that other technique also been given by the rishiminis are also been working so you should focus everything but i always believe that to simplify the things and to start with the simple thing is more uh, relevant more for uh, Right. So, if uh, nobody has a question, it's a good thing. Yes, sir. I think no questions are there. Yeah. So, good. Uh, Sunil, sir, what is it? Okay. So I think our next speaker is also uh, joining Sorry. us. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. So I can stop the recording.